so today I'm going to be doing a five below lip balm haul. It has been forever since I've done one of these because they stopped getting new lip balm and I had everything. Um, now, this isn't all lip balm. It's mostly lip balm. Um, but I couldn't just show the lip balm because then that would just make it a review. You know what I mean? However, the first thing from this haul is actually this shirt that says, <laughs> almost knocked the chair over. It says, beach hair, don't care. And this was $5 and it's honestly so adorable. I'm kind of obsessed. It's kind of like not the best material, but like for $5, I mean, this is pretty cute. So I also picked up two other shirts. First, I got this one that says squad goals. And then I got this one, which I think is my favorite. It says TGIF, thank God I'm flawless. So yeah, those are super, super cute. Cannot wait to wear them. And the last non-lip balm thing that I got is this new spinner. Um, I know the spinner craze is kind of over, but I still like them. Comment down below if you want to see a fidget spinner collection because this is now my seventh one. <laughs> so moving right along to the lip balm, um, they are all the same thing. They are all the Wet n Wild gel lip balms and who knew Five Below had Wet n Wild? So I believe these were two dollars each and from what I can tell they look like dupes for baby lips so might be doing that comparison but we have um kiss which is the clear one shock which is a pink one love which is like kind of a pinky purple play which is kind of like an orangish red there are a lot of these there is tease which is kind of like a peachy pink tell which is like a peachy orange and rule which is like a deep purple so i will be right back i gotta get these open and then we will test them out so i guess i'll just go through them and smell each one if they're scented they might not be um then i'll swatch each one and yeah so first we have this one which is tease which looks absolutely gorgeous it matches my shirt and this is definitely a dupe for pink punch i think Hey airplane, you want to fly somewhere else? One eternity later. Okay, bye. Okay, so yeah, I don't think these are scented. It might have a hint of- I'm gonna have to smell a few more to determine whether they're scented or not. It's not like, oh my gosh, this is strawberry, like, I don't think it is, but here, let me swatch it for you. Oh my gosh, gorgeous. Look at that pigment. Absolutely gorgeous. I just threw it. So next we have Tell, which is this like peachy orange. That one doesn't leave much of a tint at all. Just like a little hint of peach. I'm gonna make a little rainbow on my hand. Next we have Play, which is like this really super neat. This is like a pink shock. Isn't there one called shock too? Yeah, this is shock. So maybe this is supposed to be pink shock? I don't know. And I just smelled that one because I forgot to smell the, the peachy one, but they're not scented. Uh, but here is that one. Very, very similar to this one. <laughs> Thumbs up. <laughs> here we have shock. So all the pinks are like extremely similar. Next we have love, which is like a cute Valentine's Day color, even though it's not even close to Valentine's Day. See, this is almost exactly the same as the one before. And next we have Rule, which is the purple. Had to stick Rule over here, but these are all like very, very similar, except for the peach one, I feel like. 
And the final one that we have is Kiss, but this one obviously isn't going to leave any color, so I'm not going to swatch that one. Actually, I think I am going to put this on my other hand and see how it feels, because I wasn't really paying attention when I put the other ones on. Okay, it's pretty thin, very oily. Um, it almost looks like a gloss. It doesn't feel like a baby lips. A baby lips is much more smooth and buttery and soft. But this is more like glossy and oily. So yeah, if you're gonna go for just one, I'd say the most practical is obviously the clear one, which is Kiss. But my favorite color-wise, I think has to be the Tease, which is the first one we swatched. So there you guys go. Thank you so much for watching. I know that was pretty short and it was pretty much just a review of the Wet n Wild lip balms, but um, I hope you enjoyed and I have a new outro, so stay tuned for a few seconds um because <laughs> you guys helped me come up with it on a live stream so um if you enjoyed make sure to smash that like button drop a comment on what you want to see next and ready for this press that subscribe button to become a member of the lippy squad because you guys are the bomb and i will see you guys next time bye